Hi, I'm Troy from Shetler Construction, and I'm here today with a tool review, reviewing my Diamondback Denali tool belt. So I've been running this tool belt for uh, 10 months now, and I love it. So I thought I'd do a quick review on it, and uh, tell you what I love and what I don't love about it. So let's go through it real quick. This is Diamondback's Denali. This is their most popular belt, if I or not. Um, <clears throat> It is one of the largest. Um, they have one that's called a Grande. It's a little bit bigger. It's basically roughly the same size, but less tool organization and bigger, more open pouches. It would be like a uh, competition to Occidental Fat Lip, if you're familiar with that. So this is made up of the uh, Wrangle, which I have on my left side, and the Elias pouch, which is on my left. And I'm right-handed. So starting down here at the bottom, I've got uh, Tajima chalk box in here. This one here has a Velcro enclosure, which I never use. It's got Velcro on the inside here where you can stick it to itself. That is how it stays for me. Next pocket, pretty much just have earplugs in there. It's got a bunch of uh, nice tool bit indexes. You can see the slots here for drivers and they also get, you see the angled stitching, closing them off. They get deeper as they go over, so these here for longer drivers. Um, I typically don't carry much more than a three or four inch long driver. So the depth to me is a little bit of a pain, which I recently just seen from Diamondback uh, they were saying you could put some small dowel rod pieces in there to get your desired depth. So I'm going to be doing that. Next, got my Right in the Rain notebook. <clears throat> Next pouch, keep some eights in. I know it's on the wrong side, but I need it in the pouch. Uh, this is where I keep my phone. Big marker, small marker, Pika pencil, carpenter, knife regular pen, lumber crayon, pliers. This here has a loop for a tool, tool loop right there. I don't typically ever use that one. And of course the hammer sling attaches to the bolt here and it's adjustable in the back so you can adjust the pitch of how you want to carry it. And the top pocket has a nifty little magnetic closure uh, I can move it from side to side, so I have a laser measure tool in here at all times. Keeps it nice and clean. This is magnetic, obviously, so this is kind of slick. Um, you got a random driver you're fixing to use, you're switching it between drills, you can just check stuff there and it stays. It's not a really strong magnet, but it holds a couple screws, a couple drivers, so on. I actually would like to add another magnet somewhere on here. Fast cap makes some neat, neat little magnets. And if I can find a spot, I'd like to add another one. It's pretty handy. <clears throat> this tool loop, um, oh, I'll throw a hammer tack in there. It's usually what I use it for. It's about all I use it for, honestly. Um, they'll throw a shears, random stuff in there. On the other side, the wrangle. Bottom pouch, nice big open pouch. Keep a handful of three inch screws in there. <clears throat> Next pouch. Got some roofing tacks in it, micro square. Next pouch, got some two and a halves. And a blow gun, chisel, and I have an empty slot in there, which I don't use. Regular speed square, and uh, small vice grips, couple nail sets. I have another sling here, which I keep nail puller. And my hive tool in, really slick. That is really nice. I always had my nail puller in the back of my other pouch. This is quick. Hi, uh, this top pocket I use for my tape. Stanley Fat Max, 25 foot. Got my torpedo level back here. And then I got one other slot here, which I believe is for something like that, which I don't use. Um... One other feature I have on here is this high mount tool holder or a nail holder 
nail gun holder. I don't hardly use the bottom loop, but I use this top one. It's real stout, uh, holds its shape real nice. Uh, Kita's got the nifty little slim hooks. Hooks in there really nice, if I can find it everywhere. I carry it like that almost all day, every day. There's usually a tool, a drill hanging back here oftentimes. <clears throat> um, one other thing I got from the company, these little dump bags. Got a drawstring top. Attaches with this stout little clip. Um, these things are really handy. Um, I clip it a variety of places on here, but oftentimes I'll clip it here. I'm throwing a little fascia on, I need some trim nails. My pouches are kind of full, where do I put it? And then they're mixed with a bunch of stuff. I chuck them in here, do what I need to do, dump it out, chuck it away. H-clip, so I oftentimes use it for sheeting a roof for a few hours. Um, pile it full, as soon as I'm done, I dump it out, away I go. Um, I've actually, since, since then, I've bought a couple more of these for some of the other guys on the crew and we all love them. Uh, my favorite feature on here has got to be the hammer sling. Very slick. I came from a high mount rear hammer holder and I don't miss it at all. This is really slick. Um, <clears throat> the wood handle makes it slide in really well in and out. Uh, some of your other grippy rubber handles are, aren't quite as easy. Um, this one actually slid in and out a little too easy when I was bending over steep on a roof. It squirted out a couple times. So I added this cold shrink here from Stiletto and uh, that just gives it about the proper amount of resistance. It works real nice. Um, love this sling here, really handy. Love the, the six inch padded belt. Much more support. I, I wear it higher. Um, I'm actually carrying more weight, which isn't nothing to be proud of but it feels less. It's much more comfortable. Um, got this nifty little buckle here, fast, easy to attach Cobra buckle. So it's got these two releases and uh, clips in and out really nicely. Um, the downside of this, if unlike in these fall days, I'm starting with a coat and end up in a t-shirt, you're gonna have to keep adjusting this throughout the day. Or if you're wearing suspenders, not such a big deal if it's a little loose at the end of the day. I don't wear these but in the winter when I'm wearing a coat all day, then I definitely wear suspenders. It's just easier. Um, other than that, I prefer not to wear suspenders. Um, my least favorite feature on here would be the tape pocket. I miss my uh, tape holster. I came from this old seven bag. Occidental Oxy Light Framer, and I really miss this high mount tape holder. Unfortunately, this one was always on the right, and it really needs to be on your left for the most efficient. I mean, I know that's debatable, but I, I've, I'm getting used to it. For 15 years, I ran it on the right side, now I've got it on the left, and uh, I think I'm pretty well used to it. I don't don't grab over here for it anymore. Um, yes, you're still trading hand sums, but it is more efficient for the most part on your left. Um, that's the main feature that I miss about this old bag is that tape holder. Other than that, I don't miss the hammer holder at all in the back. Good pouch for the money, by the way. This pouch, everything that I got, I think was roughly almost $700, so not cheap, but I spend my life wearing one of these. I wear it 10 hours a day, roughly, almost every day. So, yeah, I guess I figure it's worth the investment. Um, one thing I actually liked about it was one of my first things I noticed about it. And I don't know if it's because I'm wearing it higher or if it's just so much more of a tidy pouch. But everything stays where it should. Like, I can about jog with this thing. You know, it's great. Um, I really like it. You know, my other one. You know, you just barely start doing a fast-paced shuffle and hanging on your bags is about all you can do, and it's stuff would want to spill out. This one here, I can practically jog. Um, very comfortable. It's pretty big. Um, I watched a lot of reviews about it before I bought it, and everybody's like, this thing's big, and I'm like, it just didn't look very big. I was used to Occidental's big open pouches, and I was like, it's just not that big. It is pretty big. It's long. Um, and it's it's pretty bulky. Um, 
if I had to do it over, I maybe would step down to the next smaller bags. Um, I like it, and I like carrying all the stuff. It's handy. It's very organized, but it, it's pretty. It's a fair amount of weight. Actually, I was on the fence between Diamondback and Acrobus Leather. Acrobus Leather builds a beautiful pouch. I really love them, but they're heavy. They're all leather, and they're quite heavy. So I ended up going with the Diamondback, and I don't regret it. I really like it. Um, can't say enough good about it. I looked to see this change to a tape holder. I actually emailed them and asked, you know, if there's anything I could have done custom. And of course, there was a no, but they offered me a clip on tape holster, which I wasn't interested in because I didn't know where I put it. Um, but they've actually changed this on the bigger setup, the Grande. I see now, um, I don't know if it's mainstream, if it's for sale yet. But uh, I've seen Kyle from our buildings. He's running it already. He may just be test driving. I don't know. But um, So I, I look to see this in the future be a tape holder. Um, it's not so bad barehanded. I can get this thing in and out pretty simply. And I could take the clip off and it would probably help a little. But I do like the clip because I a lot of times just yank my stuff out and clip it on my pants once in a while. But with gloves, this is a real nuisance to get in and out. Uh, Winter time, it's just a pain. So... I look to see this change. They're always upgrading. I know like this um, pocket here for the speed square, they're adding a rivet down in there to hold it tighter as the pouch loosens up. Um, so they're, they're a very proactive company. They're gonna keep upgrading and changing and, and listening to the guys using them. I'm guessing it won't be long. This will be a tape holder. Uh, till then, I'll just put up with it. It's, it. I'm getting used to it. It's not the world's end. Uh, there's enough other good about it that I definitely would not go back to anything else. Um, like I said, I love it. It's very comfortable. I love the six inch padded belt. Um, yeah, can't say enough good about it. Uh, if you're thinking about them, check them out. Yes, they're a big investment and I drug my feet for a long time. Um, I come from Occidental that I think I paid two fifty for, dollars and I think you'd still pick it up for near two fifty. dollars And for the money, Actually, a really good pouch. I mean, you gotta realize I run this thing hard for 15 years. And uh, up until a couple years ago, it really didn't look that bad, and then it all of a sudden really aged. But the leather and all, I mean, it, they're fairly amazing. But yeah, they're not the same. I can't compare it to this. It's just not. It's not near the pouch, not near the organization, not near as comfortable. And uh, so, you know, it's an investment, but I think it should last a long time. Um, yeah, I love it. Check them out and, uh, I guarantee you won't regret the investment.